So this is what your muscles look like when you're taking creatine. You could say that they're full, saturated, even hydrated. And this is what your muscles look like when you're not taking creatine. As in like not as full or not as saturated as it could be. Let me explain. Now, of course, we can get into the exact science and or terminology, but I'm a big proponent of if you can't explain something simply, then do you really know the topic? For some reason, people are scared of taking creatine because it causes water retention. And people hear this term water retention and think that you store water subcutaneously, which just means underneath the skin, so you look a little bit puffier, a little bit softer. And that softer look that people don't normally want is typically reinforced by when the person jumps on the scale and because you're taking creatine, you know, that scale goes up a little bit. And so I'm here to explain exactly why having a muscle that looks like this is a good thing or that water retention is a good thing and so creatine is what you call a saturation supplement meaning it's a supplement you need to take over time in order for your muscles to become fully saturated and upon your muscles being fully saturated it'll also pull water intramuscularly and that term intramuscularly it means within the muscle hence having a muscle go from this to this is the example that i'm using and so sure creatine does cause water retention but within the muscle meaning the muscle is gonna perform better, look fuller, and depending on how much muscle you actually have will cause the scale weight to go up, but you're not gaining body fat. And in no way, shape, or form is the scale going up in this way a really a negative thing. And so with the water getting pulled into the muscle, making the muscle more hydrated, and creatine being fully saturated within the muscle, allowing for more production of ATP, which is just extra energy, you will perform better in the gym, and better performance in the gym will lead to more gains over time. And if I could put a number on how much more muscle you would gain by taking creatine versus not, you're looking at in the time, whatever your training age is, it took for you to build three pounds of muscle, you would build four. And I'll put the link to that specific study in the description down below. And so how much creatine do you need to take in order to reach that fully saturated point? That's gonna depend on a few things. Now in this poorly drawn graph i might add we have five grams a day we have 10 grams a day and we have 20 grams a day now if you were to take five grams you're looking at full saturation being anywhere between two to three weeks some people like two to three weeks man that's a long time to see results so what some people will do is they'll take around 20 grams in which they would reach full saturation within that first week and then they'll drop down to around a five gram dosage for the rest of their time taking creatine preferably the rest of your life. And so that 20 gram scenario is what most people call like a loading phase. But then again, if you're someone like me, who's around 240 pounds, you know, close to the weights of Chris Bumstead, I might add. Granted, I'm two inches taller and natural and have way more body fat than this dude. But hey, comparison is the thief of joy, so I'll just continue to be inspired by him. Back when I was around 160, 180 pounds, I would take around five grams of creatine per day. But now think about it. I have more muscle now. I'm around the same body fat percentage as I was back then. So wouldn't it make sense to take a little bit more than five grams? So I try to shoot for around seven to 10 grams a day. Now the problem with everything I've said so far is creatine doesn't necessarily work for everybody. There are such things as creatine non-responders and these non-responders can be in one of two scenarios. It could be one whose body produces more creatine than the average person. In which case I would say that when they take creatine, they're not gonna really see much of a benefit. On the other side of the equation is their body doesn't produce enough creatine, in which case that person would need to take more. But then begs the question, how do you know whether you're a non-responder due to your body producing less creatine versus if your body produces more creatine? I would say go up to 10 grams, take more creatine just for a limited amount of time and see the effect and then make the judgment for yourself. Or you can just not take creatine in general because let's be real, we don't really need any of these supplements. And I don't care who sponsors me or what deal I have, that is the truth. But do I take it? Absolutely. If you miss a day, do you need to double scoop the next day? Probably not. Should you take it when you're trying to lose fat? I would. Should you take it when you're trying to lose weight because they're not the same thing? If the scale affects your mental state that much, you probably shouldn't. Of course you should take it when you're trying to build muscle. Does it matter when you take it, whether it's before or after your workout? Absolutely not. But if you wanted to get into the weeds of everything, if you wanted that process to happen faster, it'd be best to take creatine post-workout 
with some carbohydrates because during your workout, your glycogen gets depleted, you drink or eat carbohydrates, creatine is with that, it gets shuttled into the muscle to replenish the glycogen storage, and there you go. But let's be real, creatine, again, is a saturation supplement, meaning the benefits are always active as long as you're above that normal level of saturation. And so guys, I made this video because let's be real, I post a lot of shorts, a lot of TikToks, a lot of reels, and 60 to 90 seconds just isn't enough time to add as much context as I want. So long form content's on the way. I have a code for a discount on some supplements, which also supports me. So I think that's a pretty all encompassing, straight to the point, straight shot, mm, creatine video. And so if you need help, you're looking for a coach. I love working with people one-on-one. -on -one. You can apply, you can reach out. If you're looking to support me and get yourself some creatine, links are gonna be down below. Again, you do not need supplements, but if you want that extra edge, or if you're like me and you find joy in trying to maximize your muscle building potential naturally or artificially slash unnaturally, it'll help you guys too. Then hey, do with that information with what you will.